here we are in London, smack dab, um, middle of the UK. So it's, we call it a rebel base. And then there's the United States. Those are two countries. The difference in hip hop between the United States and Canada is like night and day. So when you talk about hip hop, where, what country vantage point are you talking from? If you're in France, you're gonna talk about French hip hop. So there's a lot of French hip hop that's going on that, that might talk about, it might mimic the United States, it might just talk about its own indigenous value, uh, how it's connected in the Africa just by lineage, whether it be Cameroon, Mali, Senegal, the French speaking nations. One thing about the English and the French historically, because they had a rivalry between the two close <laughs> take over the world type countries, the English, historically ain't trying to speak no French, and the French ain't trying to speak no English. So therefore, you have a lot of French rappers who are heard in French-speaking nations. They don't know a speck of English, nor are they trying to. So when you talk about hip-hop, hip-hop is a lot of different categories and niches that go beyond what you just think that's in your home turf area. It's beyond the United States and the UK a hundredfold. If you go down to Senegal and you don't know French as a language and they're doing hip hop, then that's not their fault. It's your fault because you don't know the language. So hip hop's in, very, in so many different languages. We learned a bit from Reda when he actually came from Morocco to, um, where is it, Sardinia? Did you come up to Sardinia? He came to Bologna. Yeah. He came up to Bologna, Italy, which is a, 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 another big um, fan base of public enemy and they speak Italiano, so maybe English, maybe not, but it's still hip hop. And is it actually re reflecting, you know, the, what's going on by Drake or somebody like that? No, it's, it's, it's what it is in, the, in Italy, which might be Africa Bambada, it might be Public Enemy, it might be Method Man. And then they put it in their own way. So we know that the the English and the Americans are arrogant thinking that everybody speaks English, but that's no true, that's not fucking true. <laughs> and, and once you come out the outside of your own head and realize that there's a planet, you realize that there's a planet of hip hop that's bigger than you think. And um, Public Enemy has gone to 101 countries, well 100 countries have been on 101 tours for a reason. 